It's a little weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Ow. Keep my feet above my hands. Potential murder weapon. Sketchy stuff, dude. What is going on guys? It's Brandon Jay and today we are in an abandoned lot out here in Columbus, Georgia. Now, if you guys are saying the video may look a little bit strange, is because we are back with VR video number two on the channel. You guys seem to really like the VR video number one we did. Um, and basically this is gonna allow you to drag with your finger or wear VR goggles and basically see the entire environment around us today. And it's gonna be a really cool one. Today we're gonna be exploring one of the coolest waterways I think Columbus, Georgia has has to offer, at least in the urban aspect of it. Uh, so basically, all of the rainwater from the entire city dumps into this one spot, and I'm not gonna lie, it gets pretty freaking gross. We're gonna have to go down train tracks all the way to a bridge, hop down the bridge uh, to get to this spot, and uh, this spot is really crazy, man. I've been here about four times, and two of those times I've actually found firearms that were tossed in there, we called police. Uh, so this could be a crazy video, that is what we're going after today is we are going to be looking for abandoned weapons or uh, potential murder weapons that may have been tossed in this canal. The water rises and lowers dramatically. So when the water's super high, people think they can get rid of firearms there, but then it drops. And then so you can see them with your bare eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way down there. It should be really, really crazy. And I hope you guys enjoy the VR experience. Feel free to look around. There's gonna be a ton of stuff to see and uh, try to find some treasure that I missed with my own eyes. All right, so we're about to get on the train tracks. You gotta watch your feet because there's glass everywhere here. So basically how this place works is you have a bunch of people that live on this side. And uh, this is pretty much like a wooded area over here, but if you guys look around, it's polluted everywhere. People just get their trash bags and just kind of toss them over and dump them. There's actually a TV right over there. So, I mean, this place is honestly really bad, but uh, it's a place where we can clean up a lot. And that's what we're gonna do down here at the river today. You want a TV? You got a TV right there, man. <laughs> All right, it's time to finally make our way down to the river. Uh, but I'm going to check out this pipe. Leave me a comment if you know what this thing is. I don't know. It's like a big gas line or water line. I'm not really sure. <laughs> All right, don't slip off. Oh, gosh. <laughs> There's a couch. There's a freaking couch down there. Oh, man. I think I've changed the scope of today's video. We're just going to be relaxing on the river, on my river couch down there. That is crazy, man. Yeah, I have no clue what this pipe is. It could have been a big gas pipe. It could be like a water line or something for the city. I have no clue. We made it to the actual urban canal we're going to be searching. It has giant cement walls because the water does rise and lower here, like I said earlier. But this is the one deep spot we have to cross. And I don't know if you guys can see it yet, but this treasure is unreal, man. <laughs> oh, man. This is honestly so sketch. Let's see if I can grab this thing. Oh, man. I gotta get way down here. Oh God. Oh, come on, come on. Why is it so stuck? Oh, I got it, I got it. Yo, we, we got a whole bicycle, son. All right, so we gotta go ahead and cross this thing. It gets a little deep. I cannot, dude, I cannot get up it. I cannot get up it, dude. <laughs> How are we gonna do God! <laughs> Ow! How do I get up? <laughs> Last in, here we go. Go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It looks dry! Dude, I know! This is the wall. Keep my feet above my hands. Okay. <laughs> My Spider-Man, what is this? <laughs> Maybe it's easier in the water for some reason. I'm gonna try it. All right, we got some like actual like green algae we can like hold on to here, so. It's not pretty, but we're making our way. Oh God, I'm slipping a little bit. <laughs> oh no. My whole VR video is gonna be <laughs> how to get up a freaking slimy concrete sled. Yes, yes. <laughs> Woo. Woo! Now what do I do? All right, good luck. <laughs> oh man! All oh, right, gosh. all right. One wrong move, and we're stuck. All right, I think I got us. I think I got us. I think I got us, brother. Woo! 
Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. It should not be that hard. No, 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 no. <laughs> this now becomes a hunt for treasure. First one to find the best treasure wins. I got something. I got a CD. I got a, I don't know why I said a CD. I got a circuit board. So maybe there's a computer or something up here. All right, let's, let's just walk in. Good sign, good sign. Horseshoes are lucky. This is the shoe of a horse right here. Lucky horseshoe. Guys, we're getting really lucky. We got the second horseshoe of the day. Not just one horseshoe for luck. We got two. Oh my God, that smells terrible. <laughs> I was gonna smell it and be like, treasure's that way, but it just smells like raw sewage, dude. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> All right, continuing our adventure. Oh my gosh, they are crawling in there. The amount of spiders inside of this thing. Ugh. Oh my gosh, bro. There's zillions of egg sacs. Moving on. Potential murder weapon. We got one, we got one. Huh? Butter knife? Could be. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Could be, just saying. <laughs> What are the odds that it would be thrown in here? It's gotta be for a reason. Think about it. Think about it. All right guys, so I know this video has been like kind of crazy and funny and silly, but um, this is when we were out here one of the last times we actually found the firearm and it's pretty crazy. We found it literally right here where I'm standing. We called the police, got it back to them. Uh, but basically from here on out, we're gonna take this adventure a lot more serious. This is where we could potentially find murder weapons like we did last time. And uh, that's a serious issue, man. That could give closure to a family if we find one of those firearms. So that's what we're looking for today. So we're gonna take things more serious and keep it moving. Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, this is like a straight up samurai sword. Whoa. Why is this back here? Bro, my imagination's going crazy. A little bit bigger than the butter knife, let's be real. <laughs> Not the firearm we were looking for, but I mean, this is crazy. We're gonna keep it moving, just saying. Could be, potentially, potentially. <laughs> I mean, this is just one of those crazy things. Like, as we walk, there's no telling what we're gonna find. Like, why is this knife in here? Who knows, but what I do know that's kind of cool about this spot is this is the canal that runs straight through the city. So every now and then look up on the left and right and you'll actually be able to see houses, sheds, people's backyards. Eventually we're gonna get to a segment or a section of the river where a bunch of like rabid dogs are barking and it's like always terrifies me because if they jump over then they're in here. But basically what I'm saying is people throw all types of stuff in here and we're the only ones crazy enough to go looking through it and see what's in here. So there's no telling what we could find here, seriously. Oh my gosh. All right, so um, Justin actually pointed, oh my gosh, bro, this is a trigger mechanism. Oh. That's, act that's for real. Whoa. That's the, dude, so look at this. So I'm getting ahead of myself here. We found ammo, so I've got one, two. We've got a shotgun shell here. Oh my gosh, bro, look. I've got 22 rounds. Dude, oh, oh my gosh. Look at all these bullets, dude. What are these? Eh, dude, oh my gosh. All right here. So there's people that live right above this. Yeah. This looks like it was just tossed over. Look, I'm not saying we should like have to call police about this, but I would at least like ask them if they want, because you have a triggering mechanism here. And for someone to break down a rifle, and throw random ammo out too. It's a little weird. Later in the video, we're gonna call the police and just ask what they want us to do with this. This isn't a, isn't a whole firearm, but we definitely got a few pieces here, especially the trigger mechanism and literally handfuls of ammo. Sketchy stuff, dude. I mean, it's not butter knives anymore. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. It's just escalated. Yeah, it just escalated pretty quick. There's a big snake right here. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but this is like, 
one of the things that I found is like any of the animals that come in here, they actually get trapped in here. So there's no really way to get out. You have to go all the way down like 10 miles that way or like all the way back where we were. So you get a lot of snakes, you get a lot of like little like rats and stuff that like crawl in here and kind of get stuck. All right guys, so we have been walking for about a mile and a half now and I uh, haven't found anything too crazy um, after we found all the ammo and the trigger mechanism. So right now, I think we're gonna find a spot with some good cell service. We're actually gonna call the uh, local police department and uh, just see what they want us to do with this stuff. Normally we call them when we find actual whole firearms, but since we do have some pieces here, um, it could be some missing stuff, you never know. So we're just gonna do the right thing, call them, see what they say, and then we'll just move forward from there. So we actually just tried to call the local police department's non-hotline number, however, they didn't answer. So right now we're gonna call 911. I'm not really sure if it's something they're gonna want to send an officer over to collect for evidence or not. Um, because normally we find full firearms and hand those over to them. So we're gonna go ahead and give them a call to make sure we make the right decision here. And uh, we'll see what they have to say. Hey, how's it going? Uh, this is not an emergency. My name is Brandon Jordan. And uh, I actually found uh, quite a bit of ammo and the lower trigger mechanism to a rifle in a river. And I was just curious if that is something uh, I should turn in. Okay, um, I have the uh, crossroads that we're going to be at. We're currently still in the uh, river, um, but I could get the crossroad to you so we can uh, meet the officer. All right, so I'm not sure if I have water in my speakers or what, but that was not loud at all. So hopefully you guys heard that. We're going to go ahead and walk back to the truck where we're going to meet the police officer, turn this over to them, and uh, just kind of see what they have to say. But this is crazy, man. I just want to be friends. I love animals. You're supposed to be my best friend. You're supposed to be man's best friend. You're a dog, I'm a man. Dog's man's best friend. Eh? He didn't get the memo. Only one way down. Nice and slow. Okay, okay. Dance speed. All right. All right. We're good. All right, guys. So the police car is arriving right now. And uh, basically, I have all the stuff laid out here. I'm just going to show him everything, see what he says. What I've got right here is what I found. Not so much the knife, but... I've got this like lower unit here. Uh -huh. I'm not really, I mean, I'm not too familiar with that exact piece, but found a bunch of ammo all together, nine millimeter, 22, and then 10 millimeter there. Um, but I've got everything on video of where I found it, if that's something. I know we normally turn in full firearms, but this is just yeah. some pieces, so uh -huh. I wasn't really sure. So I figured I'd just yeah, call uh, you guys, make sure the right thing we'll happens. Go ahead and take it and turn in the proper evidence. Cool. I have a few rifles myself, but this doesn't look like anything that I have, like the lower to an AR or anything. I wasn't really sure if you could yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, it's a little weird, right? Take it and throw it into evidence. Give yeah. us a call if you yeah. find anything off of it. I don't think there's any serial numbers right, or anything on it. Let me get a bag it. for all the, the cool. rounds there. All right, sounds good. Yeah, so he didn't know what the actual lower unit was either. I, I don't know. It's probably some type of fun, exotic weapon. Yeah, we're looking for the other parts. We figured, you know, if somebody pieced it out, right. threw it all in a bunch of different spots, kind of be a good way to <laughs> get yeah, rid of one. Probably. Cause... Awesome, man. Well, cool. I'll uh, turn this in. Awesome. I Thank you so much for your help. I appreciate right. it. You guys have a good one. All right, thanks. You didn't want me tonight. <laughs> no, man, that's really cool. I think that's a cool way to wrap up the day, too. I mean, um, we, we said we were going to come out here, and this was kind of our mission. And honestly, the fact that we found this stuff was kind of surreal. And uh, the fact that we got it all turned in, they came and scooped it all up. It's just... It's all good so really happy with that i hope you guys have enjoyed the vr experience getting to just look around and kind of experiencing everything uh comment below if there's any treasure that i missed that you guys saw that i didn't um but this is just cool man it's like full circle we came out here to find a firearm we found pieces of firearm a ton of ammo which i've never found ammo like that before uh, so if you guys like this video make sure you drop a big thumbs up uh, if you guys are new to my channel make sure you subscribe post notifications on if you already are subscribed and uh, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for today's video. I'll uh, catch you guys on the next adventure. Peace out.